You're watching the Auction Network. And we're back now with the auction of the Lewis J. Perlman Estate in Windermere, Florida. An auction ordered by the U.S. Bankruptcy Court after music mogul Lou Perlman was imprisoned on federal charges of bilking clients and investors out of more than $300 million. Perlman was internationally known for creating boy bands such as NSYNC, The Backstreet Boys, and O-Town. Because of Perlman's notoriety, this auction attracted as many curiosity seekers as it did would-be buyers. Right now, where I'm waiting to register, we've just had a broker here checking his broker registration, and I'm waiting for his client. I'm going to have you sign these terms and conditions, where are the same terms and conditions in the packet that I'm going to give you. I thought it would be interesting to come and see who wins this house. We have a lot of foreclosures right now, so a lot of auctions on homes. It's typical, especially for something like this, for them not to register, probably till right before the auction. This is always the exciting time. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're the successful bidder, you've got a contract. I've got one. My client uh, likes a property of this size and this unique um, design. Did you register your client? No, no, he was just wanting to see what happens. Oh, okay, okay. Go right ahead. Uh -huh. right ahead. The media has been very interested uh, with this property being Mr. Perlman's home. I had this property marketed for almost a year and um, done a lot of work on it, brought them a lot of offers. Okay, bidder number. Okay. There's a lot of notoriety surrounding the property through Mr. Perlman and the affiliation with the Backstreet Boys and those kind of things, but uh, it's, it's also located in one of the most prestigious areas of Central Florida, which is Windermere. There you go, you're all set. I've had comments of it'll always be a Lou Perlman house and they don't want to have a house that'll always be recognized as a Perlman property. Then there's people who are definite fans of Lou Perlman and they want the house for that reason alone. Thank you very much. You're welcome, good luck. Great, thank you. Just like nice piece of property, love Windermere. Windermere's a great place and uh, you know, just looking to uh, get an estate property like this, very nice. We're uh, coming very close to auction time. Uh, we've got four. We've got four. And we're waiting for a couple more. We already have four, four I think, that are in the room, qualified. And so we'll wait another five minutes, perhaps, and then we'll be off and running. I'm the Chapter 11 bankruptcy trustee on the bankruptcy case of Louis J. Perlman. I thought, having marketed it in a more traditional fashion, that uh, the time was right to uh, go for something different, giving it a much greater exposure on a wider universe. We are here, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the United States Bankruptcy Court, the Middle District of Florida, the Orlando Division, in the reference to Lewis J. Perlman et al. We're going to sell the property to the highest and best bidder. Whatever that high bid and offer is, that's going to be subject to the trustee's approval. Ladies and gentlemen, what you want to pay today? How many bids? How many gives $7 million to go? 6.5 million. Anybody get 6.5? Anybody get $5.5 million to go? Anybody get 5.5? And what do you want to start, folks? Anybody get 5.4? Everybody's kind of looking at each other and saying, who wants to go where? Anybody? Anybody got two and a half million? Thank you, not three. Anybody get three million to go? 2.5 is a bid, not three. 2.5 is a bid, you get three, three, no, 3.5 million where? Three million is there, not 3.5? Anybody 3.5? 3,250. Three million, 250,000, not 3.5, 3 million, 250,000, thank you now, 3.750. Anybody get 3.750 where? Anybody get 3.750? Yes or no, what's he want to bid, Francis? 3.6. 3.6, and now 3.7, 3.6, and now 3.7, 3.6, once. Oh, 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 oh. 3.7, yes or no, we get 3.7, thank you now, 3.8. 3.7, this bid, we get 3.8 hundred, three three million. 800, 100,000 is coming and going, Francis. What do you get? 3.8. What do you get? 3.8. 100,000 is coming and going. I won't cut him out either at 3.8. At 3.8. 3.7 is the bid. Ask for $3.8 million. Yes or no? 3.750, you said, sir? Anybody else at $3.8 million? And I have knocked the property down, subject to confirmation by the court at $3,750,000 plus a 6% buyer's premium. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Have a great day. 
Sure, I'm sure. <laughs> How do you feel about the deal you got? I think it was a fair deal, yes. They said the trustee would not accept the bid. What he would accept would be five million two hundred thousand. And I said, "I'll have a nice day." The bank has a, a debt, and I don't know what that is, but obviously they do. And we're not there at the previous offer you heard in the room. Uh, we have some supposed offers on the property that had uh, had been proffered previously, several months ago at considerably higher numbers. If you'll get them down here this afternoon, even yet, we'll continue the auction. Here's the situation. His realtor who gave me this offer was an agent in my office in California. He's placed a call into him. He left me a voice message. We are scrambling to call our buyers. Um, like I said, I had an offer for 5.5. We're calling him, and they're trying to get him down here right now. We have been uh, trying to negotiate a contract with two individuals, actually, that did not attend the auction. One is in the UK, and one is a local buyer. Uh, the local buyer, uh, we finally have now contacted and has given him the opportunity to reinstate his offer, uh, $5.2 million. Uh, he is thinking about that right now, and, uh, and he's not willing to do that right now. So the other gentleman uh, in the UK, we have now located that he's now on vacation in the Canary Islands. Mm. And so we have put calls after call in this book As an aside, Lou Pearlman struck a plea bargain agreement March 3rd, pleading guilty in part to some of the criminal fraud charges against him. He has also agreed to recover outstanding assets he has hidden around the world to help repay some of those he defrauded. That's it for the Auction Network's coverage of the U.S. Bankruptcy Court's ordered sale of Lou Pearlman's Windermere, Florida estate. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tava Smiley, and you're watching the Auction Network. To register for future live auctions, go to auctionnetwork.com.